What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today we're going Funko Pop hunting in the mall and uh, we're going for some new sodas at Box Lunch and some other really cool stuff. So let's check it out. All right guys, so we are in the mall. It is super busy today, I'm not gonna lie. There's like people everywhere. Um, but yes, we're gonna go to Hot Topic first and uh, see if we can find anything for hot cash and then go over to Box Lunch because I do wanna pick up that new um, Cowboy Bebop soda. So hopefully they still have at least two for a future video. So let's go to Hot Topic and let's see what they have. Alright guys, so nothing really in Hot Topic today. Uh, a couple cool things, they had some of the new boards with pops and things like that. However, we're gonna go over to Box Lunch and hopefully they still have at least two of the sodas because I'll grab at least two. They are a little bit more expensive, but we do have Box Lunch money, so let's go over there. Though of course, first, let's get our manga choice for this video. Alright guys, first thing coming in here, we found the three pack of Godzilla Pops. That's pretty sick. It is too bad that they didn't actually put glow-in-the-dark features in this because that would have looked really cool. And we also have Grogu using the Force. That's pretty cool. And, of course, the Selena on Kyle. Here's a couple other pops just to kind of show you guys. Nothing too crazy. Give you guys a wider view there. Nothing amazing, but worth a look. I don't know, guys. In honor of Black Clover finally getting Funko Pops, let's go with Black Clover today. And bonus manga with Wave 2 leaks out. Why not? This is a pretty cool cover. A couple cool board games. We have a Zenitsu figure over there. Avatar Last Airbender. Rui figure, which is nice. Uh, Naruto Sock. Some Boruto Pops, which are pretty cool to find. And some other Demon Slayer figures. Now, let's head to Box Lunch. Here's hoping they have the sodas we need. They actually have a couple of their newer exclusives. Tiana, Winnie the Pooh, and Rain Boots. As well as Pirates of the Caribbean uh, dog there, which is pretty cool. Now, we also have the brand new uh, mini archives ones, which are pretty. That's such a cool set, in my opinion. A couple pop moments and some bigger deluxe pops all look really nice. Plenty of stock. And the new Beauty and the Beast Gaston and Cogsworth here. And of course the People Movers Pluto and Mickey. Nice. I personally don't know what this is, but I figure there's at least one fan on uh, the channel here for these two people. Got these sick MHA figures. We have Tomura as well as Todoroki. I actually have that figure right now. It's really cool. Guys, they have plenty available. Yeah. Yes. So that was actually awesome, guys. They are normally like uh, $33 for both because I think they're like 16 bucks each, something like that. But with the coupon and the $5 off, I got them both for 15 bucks. Not bad at all. Walking into Pop Cult, they actually have the Kate Bishop that Bailey's been looking for, so this is perfect. Love that. Uh, they have some of the other Hawkeye Pops too, People Movers, Batman, a ton of those. They have some of the bigger Pops up there. Tanjo vs. Rui, nice. Batman up there, 10 inch. And uh, yeah, a few other like uh, Sword in the Stone, Matrix, all kinds of stuff, but this is definitely a pickup. You guys know I always like showing you the figures at least once in this store, so give you a quick overview of some Fire Force, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, look at that Levi. Oh, that's beautiful. 
And over here, guys, we have some other like uh, good small figures and things like that. Some pop pins and some other really cool figures. Since we're here, we might as well go into FYE. Just since I'm passing it, this movie was terrible. Oh, this FYE finally got in the Muncher Glow in the Dark. He's a very ugly pop, to be honest. And they have some other sports and things like that over here and some music. Uh, hmm. They got Fostos. A few of the new Batman pops and uh, some other FYE exclusives. Oh, they actually got a Mira Jane. They're finally starting to hit stores over here. Nice. As well as the new Post Malone uh, in night armor. Pretty cool. Here's their little anime section. This is pretty cool. They have the Death Note L and Chair, uh, Tanjiro down there, a few other like Demon Slayer, Naruto, and uh, One Piece Dragon Ball figures. They actually got in the brand new driving exam Piccolo, and I did want to pick this one up, but they are unfortunately both damaged. And it is part of the uh, the last wave, which is pretty nice. All right, over in GameStop, they got the brand new Eve, a glow in the dark exclusive. It does have the new GameStop sticker. Uh, Shawn Michaels there, ooh, with the Survivor Series pin. Can you guys see that in there? That's sweet. They have some of the Boruto Pops. Uh, they got uh, Shik not Shigirai, Inojin there. Uh, Pops with Purpose Marines. Five pack of the uh, Star Wars. Batman. Ooh, Unbreakable Kirishima. Nice. Let's see what else they got. Oh, they got Plato back there. I haven't seen a lot of these. Dr. Jiro. Ooh, nice. The Mummy. Light Bright. They also do have the Plato back there. I haven't seen that in person yet. And uh, Leafa there too. Nice. Matrix. Some good stuff today, actually. Uh, yabba dabba doo, Eternals. Yeah, nice. Looks like they restocked a lot of the Funko boxes. Deadpool, Star Wars, and Deceased. All right, guys, so let's head into Target and see if they have anything new. All right, guys, over in their section, they do have some Funko on exclusives. Summer convention there, Shockwave, a couple of those. Xavier Woods, Bruce Wayne. Kind of like that Bob, actually. It's really beat up though. Um, more Bruce Wayne, Selena on Kyle, uh, Baby Crying, Masters of the Universe, What If Tees. It's pretty cool. And uh, they got a ton of restocks of the Target Con uh, Skeletor and Throne, as well as Terror Claws Skeletor. So this is Funko's secret section. And if you didn't know, this is where Target Con exclusives come to die because nobody wants these. <laughs> Tons of Magic Johnsons, He-Man on Battle Cat, and uh, Star Trek for sure. Hey guys, so now we are back home in the office, and we actually technically only picked up one thing because we did pick up one thing for Bailey. Um, but um, we did pick up two of the uh, Edward sodas here from Cowboy Bebop. Um, it's kind of funny, right after this video, they actually put out a, um, a Spike one, and now I gotta get that one too, which is kind of a bummer. But anyways, uh, we do have two of the Edward sodas. They are um, box lunch exclusives, which is pretty cool. I didn't want to go heavy on these because like it's like, I don't know, I don't think I, I don't really care for the chase for this one, so if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. And I didn't want to spend a ton of the money on these because they were like seven, almost $17 a soda, which was very expensive. It's like almost $20 for one Funko soda. So yeah, I wasn't going heavy on these. It was literally $17. That's crazy to me. Wow. Uh, but luckily I was able to get two for $14 after um, uh, box lunch money as well as a $5 discount. So not bad. So we will be saving these. I have like a huge box of Funko sodas. Um, now, uh, we do actually have a package from the Funko shop, so we will be opening some sodas today. Um, so, I actually ordered these before they sold out, and uh, I don't remember what they were limited to now that I think about it. I also have like Deku coming as well. But anyways, we ordered two of these, and I ordered these for fun. Um, I don't really do a lot of Funko sodas, but I ordered these um, Vampire Freddy ones, and I think the Skeleton Freddy is the chase if I'm not mistaken. But we have two of them today to open, and maybe we'll get the chase. Maybe we'll get lucky. Um, so they're 12,500 pieces. Um, that's how many are out there. And I just, I don't know, I haven't opened a soda in a while, so I figured let's let's go for a chase here. So, uh, let's see if we got anything. And I might open one more package. I think I have, like, one more thing over there, so. Okay. Let's see. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? Oh, man, I, I really don't like gambling like this, because it's like, uh, it's like a waste of money. Okay. Three, two... One. I guess we could just look. No, let's look at the figure. Let's not look at the pog, because that's, you know, that's too easy. Let's open it. Let's see what we got. And we got. Ah, oh, we got the regular Freddy, which is actually worth more than I paid, so that's not a bad deal, I will say. If you guys want to see the pog, that's what it looks like. And, uh,. It is one out of 10,500, so that means there's 2,000 chases out there. Either way, it is a really cool Freddy Funko uh, soda there. That's really awesome, actually. I like that. Maybe I'll keep one of these. I don't know. Comment down below, did anybody grab any of these before they sold out? Because 
it took a little bit to sell out, but it did sell out, and uh, um, it was giving a lot of people like the spinning wheel of death. Funny enough, I was able to get this one way easier than Deku. Deku was just, it wasn't it. <laughs> okay. Oh man, did we get, let's see if we got this sword. All right, let's not look. I'm trying not to feel the figure so we don't know. Ready, three, oh man, please. Chase, 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 chase. Ah, no chase. I have no luck with these things. And you can only order two per household unless you have like another address. So it's like, you know, you don't really have high chances of getting chases to begin with. But either way, another dud, unfortunately. Ah, that's such a bummer. I wanted, um, I wanted to get at least one chase. That's a bummer. That's okay though, that's okay. Um, like I said, we do have like one giant soda video, so if you guys enjoy me opening sodas and things like that, we have one. I'll open one more thing though. I have one more package over here that I'd like to open. I don't know what's in it, but I think it would be fun. And uh, you know, figure just add a little bit more to the video. Let's see. Let's see what this one is that I ordered. Oh, this is cool actually. So this is one that I picked up. Um, you know, funny enough, Bailey actually said that she wants to collect all of the evolutions now. Um, she just wants to collect easy now. So, this is, um, this is Jolteon, actually. The Wonders Con, or Wonders Convention, excuse me, excuse me, Limited Convention. That's pretty cool, actually. I will say Jolteon's pretty nice. Cool. This would be such a cool glow-in-the-dark pop, I feel like. Add electricity all around it, that'd be neat. So yeah, Jolteon. We'll end the video off with Jolteon. That's not bad at all. Uh, let me know down below. What is something you guys picked up recently? Did you guys use any box lunch money or hot cash? Did you guys pick up any of these Edward sodas? Did you pull a chase or have you bought any Funko sodas um, lately? And did you pull any chases from those? I would love to know down below. For the most part, guys, I had fun. Either way, we didn't get a chase, but I did have a lot of fun. But overall, if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, link is down below. We do have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information and it's just a lot of fun all around. Restocks, news, and things like that. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check that out down below. As well, guys, make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade. And we have over 12,000 members. And lastly, be following all my social medias Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I've been especially active on TikTok. There's some really good stuff over there. So make sure to check that out. But, anyways, I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.